What's up, Toes Camel Hunter 11 here, and welcome to another Deadpool review. And this time, we're going to cover Night of the Living Deadpool number two, which is something that came out a few weeks ago, and then Deadpool Monkey Business, which came out a long time ago. And uh, let's start with let's start with Monkey Business since it's the older one. And uh, this is basically a longer version of a Deadpool team-up. Instead of being just one issue, it's uh, three issues. And it's Deadpool and Spider-Man, if you can tell by the cover. And from the start, I really like the art style. It's It feels slightly different than the other Deadpool team-ups. It might not be, but it just seems like that. Maybe because Spider-Man's in there. Spider-Man's very, like curvy, skinny, he's very athletic, and I'm I'm not necessarily used to this type of Spider-Man. I mean, you see him in the movies, but, I mean, he's a person in the movies. Here, they can draw him however he wants, and he just looks very incredibly athletic, he's strong, he's agile, and, and I like this type of Spider-Man, I really do, and I know this is the, uh, what is it, what's, uh, amazing, he's the amazing Spider-Man, I believe, and... I don't know. I, I never really watched them, but it's... I, I'm not watched. I never really read them, but I mean, it might be something that I want to get into because I know there's a lot of them, but it's it's pretty cool. Um, it's, it's so from what I understand and from what I've seen just from this little team up here, uh, Spider-Man is... he's a cool guy and works very well with Deadpool. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, disagreements and all that stuff and uh, I, I won't really talk too much about the story. That's all I'll say is... Uh, it's very funny, and it's very action-packed, and there's three issues here that are part of this monkey business storyline, uh, and then the next issue is a one-off, and then uh, there's a short little origin story of the villain, which is the hit monkey, and it's a very interesting origin story. I, 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 I don't know. I mean, honestly, I was blown away, but it was something interesting, and <laughs> I'm not saying make a movie out of it, but... It really made me think, and uh, it was also a little bit sad, mixed with some other stuff, and, you know, you feel anger at points, and it's just interesting. And then here's the one-off. It's sort of a uh, Deadpool's in this little town where, you know, the sheriffs are corrupted, and they're they're ruining everything. They're, they're stealing from people and all that, but some, some good plot lines. That's probably the least important one out of here because it's the one-off, and it's also not incredibly interesting but it's there it's Deadpool Deadpool's always awesome and uh, I definitely recommend it just for the monkey business storyline it's it's very fun in itself and the price you're gonna be paying is uh, 16 bucks for US and 18 for Canada and that might change depending on where you pick it up but I'll try and find a few online links but when it comes to comic books it's definitely easier to if you're near a local comic shop to definitely get it from there because um it's, it's just you know it's there you don't have to wait for shipping and there's no discrepancies on what you're getting it's right in front of you and this is night of the living deadpool uh number two which uh like i said came out a few weeks ago and the reason i didn't cover it in that is i, I, didn't, I just didn't want to have it by itself um for some reason i don't know i, I want i knew i had this one and i want to pair it up with this one so why not? And again, it's it's black and white. It's a parody of The Walking Dead. Uh, there's zombies, and it's a short, shortened thing. That's only like four issues long, but three and four haven't come out yet. And it it's very interesting because I I feel like you get attached to a lot of characters in Walking Dead if you if you read it or if you watch the show. And in this one, I don't feel super attached to the characters that Deadpool meets, but I, I'm exceptionally attached to Deadpool because he, he seems very emotional. I mean, he's still got his like uh, little quirks and his pop culture references and he's still funny and he still comments and he still likes to kill, but I feel really attached to him because he does feel sadness and he, he feels a little bit in the monkey business arc too. Is he, he is a hero ultimately and in this world there are no heroes because they're all dead or zombies. So he's sort of the last hope of the human race. Uh, as we know so far, and I don't know, it's it's a lot of weight on his shoulders, and you could tell that he's um, he he's suffering like mentally, and there's there's more like references to The Walking Dead at the end. They make it to uh, or Deadpool makes it to a community, and I mean it's just it's got Walking Dead all over it. So I'm excited. It sort of ends on a little cliffhanger, and I'm excited to see what issue number three has to offer and that is going to be like a normal four bucks uh to pick this up uh for a comic i i think deadpools are normally three bucks but these ones are four 
I'm I'm not sure why it, they might be a little bit longer than the other ones, or, or I could be wrong. They could all just be four dollars, but uh, I was used to them being three for some reason. I don't I don't remember again. I don't know, but uh, this is what I think of these Deadpools, so I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely recommend both of them. They are very fun, and that's about it. I'll see you guys later. Kim Harder 1, out.